Um, okay, so yes, we are waiting on Layla. Um, so she's going to show me around back to the basics with a console app, which I'm super excited about. This is uh, kind of a multiple multi-part series. So um, Layla's going to walk me through so a bit of basics with console apps. And then I actually have a friend, Mike Brocky. Some of you may or may not know him. I know him originally from the Angular world, but apparently all of my Angular friends know .NET secretly. I don't know why. It's like literally every, every like Angular friend who I have is like, oh, hey, by the way, I totally know .NET. And I'm like, of course you do. Uh, why wouldn't you? And everyone does. So he'll be joining us um, either next week or the week after to also go over like some C sharp basics. Because as I was mentioning, I've been kind of diving into the deep end because that's the way I roll. But a lot of my friends are like, wait, wait, yes, pause. Let's go back to the basics. Because there's a lot of things that I don't know how to do. Um, and I think, you know, it'd be useful to have this knowledge. So I'm going to check chat classic ASP. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if I should call it classic. Maybe I should say classic ASP instead. Um, uh, and someone was mentioning, let's see, refit? Is that a thing? Napalm said, uh, do something with refit. I wanted to do a talk. Might be a good place to start. Yeah. Um, so Napalm, I actually already had a note. I'm going to show you so that you know I'm not lying. Where is it? I've got like, I have this problem. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to write refit below it and it's a done deal. Cool. So we're going to have a refit episode with Napalm. <laughs> Um, oh my God, Fuel has a Win32 app. Okay, new sticky note. You will all be like DM me on Twitter with your email so I can make you actually get on here. Um, and I don't want to smell spell Snable wrong. Snabble. Yeah, I really wanted to look at Win32. That was one of the things that people were giving me dirty looks about. All right, Layla, if you're ready, give me some sort of wink. Oh, that's not a wink. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Refuses to bring her on until she winks. <laughs> it's like I've got something in my eye, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Um, may I ask what you plan to build with .NET? Uh, I don't know if you mean it in life. Or if you mean today. Uh, so I, the end goal is to, like a year from now, be able to be part of your community. <laughs> to be you able to are a part of our community. No, not yet, Layla. Um, to be able to go around to .NET conferences and to do .NET talks and to teach people like how to enter this world the same way that I entered it, right? Um, and I want to be able to build desktop apps. I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to know how to use .NET with Angular. I don't understand how those two connect. And I've, I've got some teachers lined up for that. It's on the roadmap. I'm really, really interested in desktop. I have absolutely no interest in mobile. I'm sorry. I love you all. But anytime someone, and I don't know why, it's like this deep seated thing that makes me want to throw up. But like someone mentions mobile and I'm like, Ugh. like, I, I think it's because like I dabbled a little bit with iOS crap back in the day and it was, it was just it was like awful. It made me think, oh, who, why, why would anyone do this? And maybe Xamarin's totally different, right? Maybe it will change my life. I'm, I'm obviously going to dabble with it and learn it and maybe I'll fall in love. But Desktop and web is what I want to do with .NET, really. It's like, maybe she's having a stroke. Uh, do you mean 911 or is it 991 in London? Does it's what 999 it here. Oh, my gosh. Where is 991, Napalm? That's, oh, okay. So President said that's how he feels about web apps. I mean, we all have our, our thing. Layla, do you have that? Do you have something that makes you go, I don't want to touch that? You can say Blazor. It's fine. This is a safe space. No, no. I do a lot with Blazor. I like Blazor. Um, Are you fine so with something... mobile? If someone was like, I want you to build a mobile app, would you be like, sure? Um, um... <laughs> this is like, okay, if you love everything, that's also not bad. Like, I don't know I, what this um... pause is about. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty like easy about like okay. most stuff. I'm quite happy to play. Um, okay. And, 
like <laughs> yeah i mean i won't learn old stuff i won't like if someone asks me to use web forms no um i'm not doing this i'm not doing that um and that that's it and new stuff i'm fine with i'll do a bit of desktop i'll do a bit of mobile i've done a bit of mobile um assembly well assembly language well i thought we were talking about dot net now there's a lot of stuff i won't learn outside dot net okay yeah no we're talking like, about <clears throat> we're talking about anything at all like oh okay yeah anything. like assembly. where do you draw the line in your coding journey like i've had to learn <laughs> python um, I do JavaScript and I'm I'm okay. I can do Node and Express and a bit of React and a bit of Angular and I've done Vue and I uh, bring back jQuery. I was good at jQuery. <laughs> I was so good at jQuery. I, like um, I've done TypeScript. I did that at my at the telecoms company. I used to have to write all the typings for the, everything that we did in in. Um, um, JavaScript uh, and TypeScript. I had to do all the typey stuff. I hated writing typings. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty open minded about stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that's true. I found that to be true because, like, there's a like a lot of people out there who have very like <laughs> I won't touch that. But I don't think I don't think I've seen that kind of angst from you. So it's, yeah. You're pretty open minded. Hi, I'm I really um I really will just play with anything. I really struggle with some things. I, I've made um no I've not hidden the fact that F sharp blows my brain. Right, yeah. I keep trying with F sharp and I, I don't know if I just need to come I've done workshops. Mm. Um and maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe I just need to go through like basics, like the stuff we're going to have a look in a moment. And I, I keep wanting, I've got a book on F sharp um, and that I want to do it. And, um, you know, I, I want to, I want to learn it. It's just, it doesn't go in my head. Mm. Yeah. I, I have the same way with, um, uh, with there's a certain part of Angular with um, managing state, and it's not just RxJS, but it takes it a step further. And and uh, I like fought with it for so long, and then I actually heard like just understanding it, like and getting it in my brain. And um, I finally heard someone who I really respect in the Angular community who was like, uh, "This is going to paraphrase horribly, but like f that noise, you know?" Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like wait, it's okay to like, let that go, like to let that thing that just my brain won't mesh with go. Okay, cool. Like, so it was kind of a relief, but I've I, done uh, some go like in Hugo, I've done a bit of that and uh, looked at that. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, so feel is right that maybe with, um, that seems a bit aggressive. Don't you think like you're like, Oh, if you want to learn this thing, you can use nothing but it. Like, that's kind of like, that's like saying, if you want to learn Spanish, you better move. Like, like you best move. <laughs> so I, um, you know, it, it's, it's okay. I, I can hear myself next door because Jim's got the volume up. That's what's putting me off. I can hear myself, I think. So he needs to be back onto his headphones. <laughs> you know, when you can hear yourself, he's got the door open. That's all. Um, and I'm like, uh, oh, I can hear myself. Um, Right now, what were we talking about? You see, my brain's gone to mesh. <laughs> oh, he, was, he had his phone out on loud. Thank you for the coffee. Yay, I have coffee. My brain might function again now. I love it. Everyone um, thinks I'm so bougie with my beer. And it's like, Ed is asking what kind it is. It's literally just sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like beer, though. I I, uh, I wish. No, it's, I love, I love Tapo Chico. Like, it's so good. Uh, yeah. seltzer water with lime yep there, Eric's got it um, someone was saying that oh yeah Napalm said that I really love Go I wish I had more opportunity to work with it because you had mentioned you were using you you had used it I only it? use a tiny little bit with Hugo which isn't quite the same mm -hmm. um, so Hugo is um, I have ghost coffee yeah because it's my GitHub mug <laughs> and it's green inside is it really? it is 
It's green inside. Take a drink. Take a drink from it. I want to see it. How it. Yeah. Okay. It's at the rim. It's just. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, um, oh, so Fuel is now backing away slowly from F sharp. I don't. <laughs> I'm so confused on where you stand. I think F sharp is like when I've done Safe Stack, which I explained to you last week, which is kind of like the web dev side of it. It's really cool how it magics up the front end for you. And you can program all of the CSS and the classes and all of that into your back end code. But it just, I, I wouldn't be able to pick up an application, even though I've done three workshops, three, even immediately after I'd, I'd done one, I wouldn't be able to pick up a, an application and write F sharp. I had no idea about the structure or how to approach it. I was missing those building blocks. Yeah, I could follow a tutorial and copy and paste the code in. Right, yeah. And make it do stuff. But I was like, I, I, I could like, not write this. Yeah, I, I, I totally feel what you're saying. I would prefer VB and not bother learning C sharp. Wow. Hot takes. Hot takes today from Fuel. <laughs> Wowzers. All righty. Okay. Um, I, so can you share a link with me? I have, I think you emailed me uh, and you gave me GitHub access. So we wanted to dive into some basics today. And I don't know if, am I following a tutorial? Oh, okay. Am I opening an app? Do I need to download something? I didn't know where we no. should. No. So you want life. to, you wanted to like go back to basics. Um, with some of the sort of things that you can do. I have got some workshop. Stop it, Ed, with his three hours later. I know, I saw that. And he's, I know he's in here in the chat stressing because his show's coming up. But I also want everyone to know that I move my show up and Ed is kind of buttoning in on my Tuesday. Just saying. Just saying. Layla, can you back me up here, girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at my eyebrows. They are like up, 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 up. Ed. Ed. <laughs> Ed. So you and your Australian buddy can just chillax, Mr. Three Hours Later. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. Look, we have 34 minutes. We can knock this out. All right. So <laughs> I have actually moved um, these over. Uh, yeah, of course, we want a whole hour like Tuesday. We're doing it. Obviously. Obviously. Ed. It is known. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> like, we do a whole lot of this. And. Mm. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I moved the workshops over onto the women of .net, um website. So we could go and have a look at doing those. I need to update them because we've got new things. Of course, we have new things since I wrote those. Um, oh, my God, Ed, Ed, I nearly made a rude gesture at you then, and I just stopped myself. Very well behaved, Layla here. Very well behaved. Listen, I don't think anything you like could do would top my faux pas. So I think you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you totally. Yeah, that have... really was fine, Alyssa. You were just reading a title of a stream. It wasn't you. It was that streamer. Okay. All I have to say is chat was very gracious. They were lovely. Not mm -hmm. a word was said. They were wonderful. And they were it, beautiful. You need to forget about that. It's I'm all fine. Try. I'm it's just all saying. Fine. You can... <laughs> Anyways, Big so hugs. do I need to do I need to pull up the gift? Yeah, why don't you share your screen? Okay. Um, and what we can do, because you had questions about um adding um like when do you need a solution? So we could just how about we actually just open up Visual Studio and let's just do some code. Yay! I love this. And also I'm pulling up women of .NET workshops. Do you think that's the right, is that the right site? That yeah, but be. we can, we can, we'll just free, free, free code. Free flow it. All right. I'm going to share my it. screen, share everything, do that, share, take you, put it over here so everybody can see chat and then hide you. Okay. And just to say, all you awesome people, if you want to contribute a workshop, like if you want to feel stable, if you want to do an F sharp for beginners, you can come and do this just because it's women of .net doesn't mean that you can't come and like add a workshop to it. And like, that's it. We want to like make this a cool place for people to come and learn. Um, so I'm just going to throw some out there real quick. Fuel win 32 workshop i don't know who knows <laughs> <laughs> and then uh let's see 
uh, napalm, maybe, or maybe a refit workshop. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, back to the All business. All in that. Uh, so this, if we have a look at workshop one, one. This one. Okay. Um, I think workshop one, you'll have already done everything. This is sort of like installing some stuff. Oh. Um, like, you know, just getting going with the Hello World. So if you go all the way to the bottom, we can flip over to workshop two. And I think, think so? um, how do you see? check, like, if I open up command, command, if I open him up and I say, like, .NET or something, will that tell me if I have all the bits? Yeah. So you go .NET. And so you've got .NET there. You could do um, .NET, do. Uh, yeah, hyphen, hyphen, list, hyphen, SDKs. Uh, so .NET. Yeah. And you need an oh. S on the end. So just push up again. So you are on five, which is perfect. Uh -huh. um, now what I, when I've done this workshop um, for beginners at various meetups and things like that, um, and it, we build kind of like a text adventure game i don't know if all of that is on this one uh, so if you scroll down this is like really like aimed at real you know beginner uh, i don't know it's so perfect it though down. someone said that i should say .NET list and then someone else said don't or dot net info and then someone else said don't you've got you've that. missed a t dot donut donut is this not something to be encouraged or maybe he was talking about something else oh so you can Ooh, get, look at all these ooh, monkeys. Lots of information. Okay. Uh, so you're saying that it's more basic, but even things like if I was like had to like okay make a new um make a new file and then just like write this from scratch. Let's do it. I uh, would not you, be able to do it. <laughs> right. Let's open up Visual Studio. But you do okay. use Visual Studio, don't you? Yeah, I can see it there. So that's okay. I use both Visual Studio and. What is the other one? VS Code? I get, I get them a little bit mixed up. Does it matter? Like, do you care? I prefer Visual Studio because it's a little bit more powerful. Okay. I like Rider as well. So let's just okay. start with, actually, let's do some stuff from the command line. So go back to your command line. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to go into wherever you like to create your projects. <laughs> oh, ah, what? Hmm. Oh, you, um, oh God, because I have, I don't, I use uh, <laughs> Windows Terminal and I, I use the Mac, uh, so I don't know what it is. Maybe it's is List. It, nope. Is it D-I-R? I don't know. It's not. Oh. No. Did that work? Kind of worked. I mean, look, it showed my Yeah, Yeah, yes, I got it right. Look, You're chat, so chat, smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving that over so I can see chat a little bit. Yeah, everyone's saying dir now. <laughs> okay, so let's just make a. Um, we can we can create a new. Is that app a thing now. here? Yeah. Uh, yes, and then let's just call it uh, console fun. I don't know. Let's just do that now with C sharp. Uh, that should be a capital C. We use Pascal case. In JavaScript, we call this capital camel. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> what did you call it, Pascal? Pascal. Yes. <laughs> Wait, it's not telling it what kind of dir to be. Wait, it doesn't it's matter. A no, it's right. just a folder. So and then we're gonna go, into, go it, into it. And then we're gonna mm, right. So touch. Now, <laughs> no, uh, no. .net new. It's not touch either. It's like some weird thing. I just like I don't know. I I have terminal. So uh, all right. So .net new space oh. sln. So we're gonna make a solution. Now I told you you don't need a solution, but we're gonna make one here. So space what did you say sln and press enter you're, you're gonna be okay yeah all right so now this has made a solution file so if you go open up your um that it does look like you're swigging beer it really does I'm kind of jealous now um go to your file explorer and let's open that up and you'll see what it's uh it has oh you want created. me to do this thing hang on i'll find yeah. it yeah be patient with me, everyone. I can do it. Duh, this one. Yeah. All right. So you see you've got an SLN. All right. So now you can just <laughs> I just tried to press space bar on it to preview the file. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so now we go here and open it. Back, or no, no, we're gonna go back to the terminal. So that would be like your solution file. So everything, remember I told you that the solution is like 
your application and it can have lots of different projects. Uh, <laughs> so now we're going to make a new console app. So you can do .NET new console. And now you could, what this is going to do is take the name. Uh, if you type DIR now, you can see it's taken the name of the parent folder. If you wanted another application, another project in here that had a different name, so perhaps you wanted, I don't know, um, a class library. I can't remember what that is. It might be lib. So let's just for the sake of it, do .NET new lib, L-I-B space hyphen n but you need a space after lib oh it's a parameter yeah 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 sorry it's a parameter and now you can go space again and we're going to give it console fun dot lib or something like that and i think it's hyphen n um and then press enter uh, what do we need? Uh, w, oh no, not a uh, class lib. So just push up and change. Oh my lib God, look at that. Lib. Look, it's got C sharp, F sharp, and BB, just like you guys yeah. said. Right, exactly. So if you just push up and go back and just change that to class lib, and it will always default to, um, not there, not there, no, that, that was fine with lib. You want that capital L. So that's a name. And then back to the parameter. There you go. Um, and you have to go and change that L. No, oh my God, you've done it. Ugh. Okay. So now we have a class library created. And now if we go look in your folder, uh, you can see we have. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Yeah, okay. So I'm unsure why class console fun.lib was created in a folder so let's click into that but do you see it picked up the name so you can name you can change the name in there but by default it will take the parent so that that's a little bit of um uh tri trivia there well that's what i was saying it's that we need to go back and change that l to a capital l and i was like nope enter has been pressed too late um so, so which L needed to be capitalized? The, the console fun dot lib, because this is a this is a name of a project. This isn't like a library. So you'll see it's a naming convention. You have your and this reflects on your namespaces. So don't worry about this. Let's go into the application now. Open the SLN with Visual Studio. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain further what happens. Okay. Um, so this, go and... open it. Yeah. Or do I say, do I say project or folder? Uh, it's going to be a project. So you can, oh, you've already got it created. So Bucket can... of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Just closed it now. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> open a solute project or solution. That's the one. And then we'll go open it, and now the solution. You could open a project, that'd be fine, but we're going to open the solution. And it's got nothing in it. Ah, okay, so that that's it made a subfolder because we gave it a project. So don't worry about it. That's it to be expected that it has nothing in there, okay? Because we've not, oh God, I've just knocked my mic over. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. <laughs> Ex, go back. Go back. Oh, no. Here. All right. Did I do what? Back to solution view. Uh, uh, this? Did I do it? No, you haven't. Press the button you pressed before, the one next to the home. No. What have you done? Oh, my God. <laughs> Chain, like the home button, maybe. What have you done? I don't know what you pressed. I, d <laughs> I, you pressed? I just clicked on folder view. <laughs> it's okay it's fine here i'm gonna how fix do we, it how do we don't get worry. out of folder view don't worry we'll fix this is like we have a little frame and we have nothing in it so we now need to start telling remember i said the solution has everything pertaining to our application okay but we haven't told it anything so right click on that solution and if we see you're going to add, 
because we want to add a project to it. Okay, so just go and add it. And we're going to choose an existing project. Mm. And now go into console fun and choose console fun CS proj. Mm -hmm, and you can mm -hmm, add mm -hmm. that and wait, it will start to load it. And now we've added it. But this is why you can have projects that don't have solutions. So for example, if you right click on solution console fun again, on the solution and add an existing project. All right, go into, I don't know, one of your other folders. And then again, and now choose that CS proj. You can add that. It doesn't matter where you bring your application from, your project, you are making a reference to it in your solution, okay? Oh, is that like the com the command line bit to make that happen, I guess? Dot yeah, net the solution .NET add. solution, you would add it. That's the command line. But I wanted you to sort of see it in here because you can do it. Now, if you go and open your folder, um, the file explorer down the bottom, and then right click on your solution. So you need to go up a level, uh, right click on the SLN and go open with, uh, you're in a different computer. You had um, uh, Notepad. Oh, there it is. Edit with Notepad++. Ah, now you see it doesn't show anything. This is quite cool. All right, it doesn't show anything. Go back to Visual Studio and click the Save button at the top. Do you see there's two, the one next to that, will save everything, okay? Now you reload it, look at everything it's added. So it's added, now the solution knows about your projects and you can it's, see, yeah. That's because we linked up both of those. Yeah, we added references to it. Um, and now if you go look at line six, you can see it's got consolefund.csproj and it knows where that is. It's in the same file as it. And then if you go to line eight, you can see it's added your first Blazor app, but it's got that from wherever it was. It's gone up a level, it's gone to my first Blazor app. So this is like the nuts and bolts of telling Visual Studio whatever's gonna run your project, where are all the things that we need to build this application. Does that make sense? Mm. No, it does. I I guess I don't really understand the point though. Like is the point so that all of this builds together or? Yeah. So let's just say you have a web application and a dreaded mobile application, okay? And they're in, they're in different, different teams are using them. They're in different solutions, totally unconnected. But you have shared business logic and you are going to put all of that shared business logic in a class library. OK, so you could have that somewhere else in its own place being developed by a team and it's common code that both of these distinct applications can use. They can just add it to their project and they can build their projects because they have a dependency on it, but they mm. don't. They don't need it in the same folder. Uh, so uh, Jim says where an application could be a website, an API, a library of code common to both, et cetera. So the application contains everything that your solution, uh, that, that your application needs, that solution file. It's what links it all together. It's like the, the, uh, the, the string holding it all together. Mm. Okay. okay. So... So we've made, let's see, let me go back to this view. Let's remove the, if you right click on my first Blazor app and just remove it uh, down near the bottom, there you go. Yes, you're going to remove it. And if you save, that's going to remove it from your solution file. So if you check your solution file, reload it, it's going to remove all references to that, okay? Um, so that's how you can add other other things. And that's why a solution file is good if you've got multiple projects, okay? Because mm -hmm. it's going to it's going to be what your build is from. Um, all right. So if we go, um, 
Now, this is interesting because that is inside there, it's brought it in, but that's a folder structure. It won't have actually added the internals of that. So I think we should just delete that from here and delete it from the, um, the file explorer. So actually, you've deleted the reference to it, but it's still in our project. Oh, so that's you can so strange. Still I would have thought it would do both. Okay, so... Oh, it has. Uh, in this oh, case, did. it has. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Because it was part, it was considered part of that project. So if you make that, just get rid of, just delete all of that. We're just going to leave it. You don't need the hyphen N uh, or the console name. We're not going to name it. Okay. So it's going to create its. Now, this is going to be confusing because if we go into it, it's all going to be munged together. Did it make it? I, don't I see it. think it has. Oh, I was. Am I in repos? Yeah. I'm yes. In repos. Okay. But no. how do I make? Mm, hang on. I don't want it to be there. That's okay. Repos. Go up the level. There it is. Okay. This this is something that you always do, right? So I always do as well. So delete repos. Csproj class. Dot that obj. So obj and then. Oh, that. should I have deleted the um? Oh, what did I just click on? Mother I don't of. Know. I don't know either. Uh, do I need to delete, delete obj from yes. this no, one no, as well? No, no, you don't need to. No, because there's an obj here. That's fine. So that's oh. just stuff. You don't you don't need to look at that. So now we've just got our console application. So we can go. Let's just no, 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 no. Because you haven't got .net. Um, what I want to do before you do that though is don't press enter. Don't press enter because that will put it all in together and everything's going to get confused. So we could cut, do you want to touch into, we've got 15 minutes. Do we really want to go into file structure? Uh, whatever, whatever you think we should cover. I don't, I don't know. Okay. You, let's, you... let's not, let's not add this. I just wanted okay. to show you like the different things. So let's go back to our project because there's, other ways that you could have something. Um, if you right click on console fun and then go add and go in here and you see project reference about halfway down. Do you see that? Click on that one. So this is another thing that might come up. If your code, remember we were saying about this common code that might be in a class library, you want your console application to be able to use it. So you would add a reference to the other project. So it's a little bit like in, in JavaScript, you know, you use like import module mm. at the top. It's like mm -hmm. that. So you add something in. So you can reference other projects and then you can use the code from those other projects in your existing projects. So mm. just so you know that's a, a possibility. So okay. you can, you can mm -hmm. just close this one. We're not going to do that now. Uh, let's open up program. Now you can see that a console application really doesn't have much in it. And you can also see uh, you don't need to expand that because um, it just sort of shows you the same thing. Um, so you don't really need to expand anything at, at this stage. Um, and we can just run this straight up. Oh, it already, it's strange that this is here by default. It's a it? template. So everything, if you go back to the command line as well and just do .NET new. Inside of here? Yeah, just type .NET space new and enter. Everything here is a template. Mm. And when you bring it in, it's already got a lot of code that it will just run and you can learn from these. So I've done a lot of learning from this. So when I wanted to learn how to do uh, .NET uh, Core and Angular, I mm. chose the ASP.NET Core with Angular template. And that oh, cool. created an application that had an Angular front end and a C Sharp oh, back end, and they were already tied together. And all I had to do was press play and it ran. So I mean, oh, we, we okay. could have a go at doing that and you can see how it could run. Um, so this ran over here. Yeah. And this that is a strange has, like faux command line, or I guess. Console. This is a 
console. So this is an executable that just is the most basic program that you can write. Um, but you can do some really cool things with it. You can you can make text games, you can gather input, you can make ASCII art with it. There's lots of sort of things that you can do that make like learning with a console application fun. Um, now with .NET 5, we got top level statements, which made it even easier. And I've not done anything with that. So shall we have a quick go at that? If you just press X on this, it will close it. All right, so in here, you can see we've got this namespace, and that is derived from your project name. You don't have to keep it like that. You could name this anything. By default, when you create it, it's always going to be namespaced to your folder structure. If you added um, a folder and you wanted to... Um, not have that namespace, you could delete it. You can name this whatever you want, okay? Um, and yeah, like Jim says, it's a good way of clearing away everything else and doing it, just, just thinking about the C-sharpness, the code. Mm. Um, and then we can go and do stuff. So how about on the line above uh, console.write line, let's give ourselves a bit of space. And we can do console dot read line and that will be camel case it should come up uh, read line there you go and then just open close parentheses and let's uh, put a semicolon and that's assign this to a variable as well let's just call this like input right. cool and then how about we go delete hello world and just put no no no, I get your JavaScripty stuff out of here. <laughs> I was just double checking. I didn't know what was possible. <laughs> I think I should just leave now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe C Sharp has let. I don't know. Um. So let's go. No, we have var or we have strongly typed. So you could pick that as a string if you liked. You're saying um, like say like say this instead of var. You could call it. String. Oh, it would be instead of not so, with both. Okay. Basically, one is um, inferred. Okay. Um, so when you use var, it's going to look at the right hand side of the statement, and it's going to be like, oh, this is going to be a string, um, and so it's going to be. You can't have the same input defined twice like that. That's it. Yeah. So. There is also a capital S string, but you don't want to go for that. There's different things. And I, I actually don't know why there is a capital S string. I think it's like below string. Someone in chat remind me of why there's like a capital S string and a capital I. Um, it is strongly typed. Yes, it's just inferred. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> right. Nice one, Napalm. Right. Let's now just put um a dollar sign in front of hello world in the oh right here line. yeah so in front of the the quote that's it outside the quotes i should say yeah and then um let's no, no. what you've got yes 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 oh my god no, yeah no yes no yes no 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 yes i'm just being <laughs> terrible i'm really sorry Alyssa. <laughs> one line <laughs> And then, yeah, you were totally right. Put your curly braces in there, inside the quote, though. Oh, inside it's, the quote. Yeah. You have this in JavaScript. I'm so confused. I thought you said outside the quote. All right, here. The dollar outside this, the quote. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to, oh, the dollar's outside the quote. Yeah, just oh, the dollar. Oh, gotcha. And then you can I bring. I don't know why it's new lining me every time. I don't know why either. I don't know. So uh, you can just put input in there. Okay. Like that. That's it. That's it. Perfect. And now let's run it. Yeah, you do have interpolation in javascript does it look anything like this no no it doesn't i've written it like that i'm sure it's what? very similar what you just slap a plus on it man it would be oh, like you uh, see whether the no whether that's it smaller gaming has it you put the 
the what's it inside the dollar sign inside not outside you like that. You like yeah that. you Sounds can do good. that in c sharp as well you can um what's yeah. with the dollar sign that's like so it's inside the string you definitely have that in in um what is she saying in in javascript she's telling me that we have this kind of interpolation in javascript with like a dollar sign do we i just slap a plus on it and call it a day what what is it? it's an es6 thing oh it's an es6 thing oh. <laughs> Stop being so up to date, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was like, it's like turtle guys over here saying it was five years ago. I get it, okay? <laughs> I need to update, apparently. And stop slapping <laughs> a plus on everything. God. Right. Let's mm. run this. Mm. Mm. Do I need to delete this part, though? Uh, it will just write it twice. It's still valid. So, yes, Rocket DevRel is saying string interpolation and Aztec is saying it's concatenation. So the two, one is, so the difference here is the interpolation on the first one is going to create one string um, with input into it. The one on the second line, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, is going to create one string called hello world. It's going to take the string from input and then it's going to make a third string from the two of them. So I think that's what's happening. That's kind of the difference in a memory way. OK, um, so now enter something. So type your name, Alyssa. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Why, why is it waiting on that? I don't understand. It's waiting for you to type something. Now press enter. There you go. What the what? Hang on, you just blew my mind. Why was it waiting on me to type something? Because we told it to. <laughs> we said read what? line. So it's waiting for a user input to read the line. Okay, that's really cool. Also, Rocket Devrel is like spot on with like, okay, that's that's what the dollar does. I'm with you now. Yeah. So So how make about... it do math. Make it do math. Okay. All right. So go back. Let's let's go and do Wait, that. This one here. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's have um. What do you want to do? Give me. Give me. Give me. I'm gonna be able to type in numbers and it like right. two plus okay. two and then it like spits out the answer. Can I already just do that? I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> let's delete everything you've got in there. Oh, oh no, well, that's let's not go possible. Down. Okay. Let's uh. Let's do this. Not Comment possible. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to ask, we're going to write a console.write line and say, uh, give me a number. Four. That's it. Just in there, in, as a string, say, give me a number. Wait, say, so give me a number? Oh, it, with a string. Yeah, in, you know. a string. <laughs> Hi. It's me. I'm not explaining it very well. No. Okay, semicolon on the end. We're going to make it really bossy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really bossy. Now we're going to use, you can copy that var input console.read line from line 10. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I did something bad. <gasps> you didn't. Control Z. It's building. <laughs> I think I pressed Control B. <laughs> I don't. How do you uncomment? I just recommented. Uh, control uh, KU. KU, KU, KU. Okay. And then okay. read line. Um, it's weird that then... we made it an input, right? Can't we just be like. No, because you need to capture the variable. Because you want to capture the input. It's going to give you that is a static that is going to give you a response. Now, copy. All of that and paste it again below. And the and the console dot right line. Oh, I, I see. That's it. So all right. So we're gonna say give me another number. Okay, and then input two. We are going to do something. Um, because you want numbers, we're going to assume something. Wrap console, the first one on nine, line 17, wrap the, the right-hand side in parentheses for me. Line 17? Yeah. So wrap the console.read line in parentheses. I think this should work. Oops. Uh, okay. So sorry, I thought it would. I thought it would too. Sometimes <laughs> it does. 
Okay, and then at the beginning of the parentheses, I want you to put INT. So this is, it's not going to let us do it. I didn't think oh, it, it won't would. let us type like that? No. <laughs> and maybe it might do it as an as, because that could cast it. <laughs> like this? You'd need it and that you'd do it an as as a different way. Um, so we'll, we'll just control Z. I thought you might be doing that, but maybe that's because I've been doing Python for three days. Get rid of all of that. Just control Z, control Z. We've got one minute. Oh, my God. Okay. So now... <laughs> There we go. See, Aztec told me you wrap the in in the beginning. That's how you do it. I'm You're saying Python. like this? Yeah, and the in in there. There we go. It's still not going to have it. <laughs> okay, so don't worry about that. Come down. Can we just, just save this? Won't that work? No, it won't uh, have that. No. Okay. Really? It won't Why? All right, continue. <laughs> so what we're going to do down here is on the new line, um, we're going to have, um, we're going to do var input three. I know Ed's waiting as well. Sorry, Ed. Um, it's going to, no, we can't do that yet because that's going to concatenate the two strings. We're going to do int int dot and then try parse I on the same Andrew line. I thought would do it. So try parse the third one down. Oh, here's Ed. Oh, <laughs> so you need the try. I understand That's what you're it. saying. And now in parentheses, you're going to give it input. Okay. And then it's going to want an out. So just do a comma. Okay. Um, I think it wants an out. No, no, inside the parentheses. Hang on. I'm with do, you now. Give it, I think, comma out um so just out space and then just give it like three i don't know and then a semicolon on the end and then we need to do that, that again for the other one yeah why isn't it not taking that maybe oh it returns a bool yeah see i'm 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 forgetting it okay so it will just just get rid of the out altogether <laughs> i'm rusty and the comma the whole thing just leave it as input and I'm stressed because Ed's there looming over me. <laughs> um, so, oh, God, it's going <laughs> to return a bull. That's it. <laughs> so it needs to be defined beforehand. Oh my no, God. I have totally put you on the spot. And um, no, no, we... it's fine. It's because I can't type as well. And I told you. Um, so <laughs> Ed's down there and I'm like, my head is going. Go. Hi, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to Eat Sleep Co. Today we're learning how to do math in C sharp with Layla. <laughs> Who's like having a breakdown because you know it's late and I've not eaten and I've been doing Python for three I know, days. I know. I should and not I'm have like, put you on the spot. <laughs> I was like, I want to do math, Layla. <laughs> I should be able to do it. And I just totally you see, this is it. Coding is hard, no matter how long you've been doing coding and what level, um, because oh. it's like, I I need to type. And then I would be like, Duh. I couldn't create an array yesterday because I've been doing Python. And we don't have to kick you straight off. We can we can have some commentary. John, if you want to come in and join with I'm us too. Gonna, like, I mean, we like, have all here? the people in here. We could just have everybody <laughs> jump in. I, I'm just going to disappear into the fans because, like, I've just like completely <laughs> Listen, embarrassed myself. The chat was so, like, the chat was like, "You're doing Python," and I was like, "I know she's doing Python." <laughs> I uh, it's it's weird when you start getting into like panic situations when you're coding, and you start regressing into languages that you haven't written in years. <laughs> Like one time I started writing Pascal and I'm like, where did this even come from? I haven't written Pascal like 25 years. What is happening to me? It's like that old uh, 1980s commercial where the guy's walking down with the peanut butter and the other guy's walking down the other with, with chocolate <laughs> and you got your peanut butter and my chocolate. Um, so yeah, I make this reference all the time and Alyssa's like, I have no clue what you're I talking about. No idea what you're talking about either. <laughs> it's what happens when we get two old guys joining the podcast. I just want to make two numbers add together. Okay, that's all I want in life. That's all I want. I feel like it shouldn't be this it, hard. Because whatever wasn't. you're like, I just you made can't a dog's just... breakfast of it. 
<laughs> like you can't make it an int by like instead of replacing var and that upsets me like that makes no sense why because the right hand side of the equation is saying i return you a string you're getting a string um so if you give it an int on the side it's like uh, 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 no i give string you are getting a string it's just so like a core difference between javascript and c sharp that i'm like this is yeah. what strongly typing is baffled it, by <laughs> it just says this is the type you are getting you okay. are not having an int this is strongly okay. typed i am very strongly giving you a string you can okay you can go and that's the whole point so when you want us like when you actually want an int though like are we trying to like fake an int right now with your no. try parse what you do is you can say hey int can you take this string and can you can you make it is it a number and if uh. it's a number it's going to say true and it's going to give you on the um, out a variable called okay. we'll define a variable above and like in usc shop you can define it in line which was what i was trying to do and i was just making a dog's breakfast of it um i got gotcha. and then it will say okay if i made this string into a number i'm going to assign it to this variable that you've given me and then it will then you can move forward with it nope. if it doesn't it just says <laughs> eh -eh. Oh, always we're not going to teach Alyssa about learn. dynamics ever. I need to learn no. that. No, <laughs> expando object. Yay, expando object. Um, John, no? John, is that wall really there? It looks so good. No. If it's not, no. Okay, no. It looks it's good. It's like my ferns. Yeah, I mean, but nobody believes ferns are that big, Layla. Nobody believes it. They are in my jungle. Well, <laughs> just here. <laughs> Right. Oh, okay, chat. There's like a divide on dynamics. So I'm going to bring you on, Layla, and you're going to tell me what dynamic is next. Yeah, time. <laughs> we could do that. I'm not afraid to embrace dynamics mm -hmm. and expando objects mm -hmm. and have everybody yep. go, no, what are you doing to Alyssa? <laughs> Well, I'm going to pass it off because it's now Ed and John's show of Marvelous. But thank you, Layla. You're beautiful and I appreciate you. So thank you. Thank you. And I'm sorry we went over and that I made yeah. the right message. No, this was good. This was a... Thank you, chat. I was enjoying every bit of this. this was Me too. My life. I just sit there smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. those... All right. Yep. We are we are transitioning shows. Rocket Devrel is explaining so many things happening. So this is three hours later. At the end of <laughs> The end of JavaScript Girl, and we're passing it off to Eat Sleep Code. But bye bye. Bye, <laughs> bye ladies. Thank you so bye. much.